Good morning, friends! Today is a lot hotter than it's been, so I thought it'd be a good idea to go for a quick morning swim. The water was very chilly, so a quick swim was all it took to cool me off. Then it was time to start our diving adventure. One of our spears fell off the boat, so Mom had to dive in and look for it. I get really nervous when I can't see her and she's down for a long time. But she finally found it, and I was happy when she was back on the boat. After that, it was time for me to start my relaxation under my umbrella watching them dive. Dad speared a grouper, which means we were having fish for dinner. Yummy! But one thing about this little dinghy is it's a lot smaller than our old whaler and I have to be a lot closer to this dead fish and it kind of scares me. I didn't want to hang out with the fish anymore so I decided to jump in and head towards mom and dad but when I got in there I couldn't find them. All I saw was lots of blue water so that meant I had to start making my way to the beach. I was tired but I told myself to just keep swimming. I finally made it to shore and found this cool little hut to hang out under. A boat finally came by and I thought it looked like ours, but a crazy lady jumped off the boat and was screaming and crying and I didn't understand. She kept trying to get closer to me, but I know better than to talk to strangers. I tried to keep my distance, but I kind of wanted to know why she was crying. The closer I got, the more familiar this lady seemed, but I couldn't quite pinpoint it. She took the wet headband off her head, and then I knew who it was. It was Mama. I don't know why I didn't recognize her, but I still don't understand why she's crying so much. She kept saying something like she thought I got eaten by a shark, but doesn't she know me and the sharks are friends? I got back on the boat and Dad was crying too. That never happens. They gave me some water and man was I thirsty. They told me I swim for almost a mile. Uh, that is a lot longer than I thought it would be. I didn't think me trying to escape the grouper would cause this much problems, but boy, they were very scared. I guess I learned my lesson on that one. They keep saying I might not be able to go spear fishing again. Bummer. But at least I'm back with my people. I would have been really upset if they never found me. I would have been alone on that island. Who would have fed me treats and given me hugs? After that, we went back to the boat, loaded up, and headed off. I totally forgot that my grandma, grandpa, and my aunt Cindy were coming to visit. If I had been stuck on that island, I would have missed the trip. My little incident has me feeling very small in this big old world. Tip of the day, be safe, folks. See you later.